um, what we do in our paper is we come up with a measure of the level of optimism that's um, implicit in market prices. Uh, you can think of what we're doing as trying to come up with an answer to the question just how bullish you have to be in order to believe that the market is fairly valued. Um, so you might imagine that if the answer to that question is you've got to be extremely bullish, then that may be an indicator that the markets are looking bubbly. Um, valuation ratios are often used as a quick and dirty measure of whether uh, market sentiment is, is high or not. And certainly valuation ratios have been high recently, and they were high in the late 1990s. Um, but valuation ratios can be high for good reasons if interest rates are low and if volatility is low, uh, as it has been and as interest rates have been recently, although they were not in the late 1990s. Uh, and so you can think of our index as coming up with a way of assessing whether valuation ratios are too high given the current level of interest rates and of uh, volatility. So uh, I've enjoyed uh, all the talks a great deal. Um, I was particularly intrigued by some of what Helen Ray had to say um, about the use of machine learning techniques um, and by the thought that in future years as policymakers and as uh, participants uh, in the private sector use these techniques more and more, the effects of these machine learning predictions are going to be felt in asset prices and will potentially make it easier for policymakers to use asset prices to anticipate problems um, in real time.